Hi guys! Today I want to give you 5 tips to customize your own personal website with SmugMug. So I want to use my personal website to show you guys how I did it. I am logged into SmugMug. I have a portfolio account so I can sell my picture and there's a few more features in the uh, basic account. So I'm just going to go through my website here and show you uh, a few quick things. So if I look here I have my logo in the top left and my menu. If I scroll over the gear, educational, they have sub menus. I have a PNG uh, image text here, meaning that this is not a text that I took from SmugMug. This is a text that I was able to create a PNG file and introduce into SmugMug. I have a main page galleries. I have my social icon that will show on every pages at the bottom as well. And if I go to my galleries folder, then you will find all my photo galleries. If I go to the journal, in my journal page, you'll see I was able to put a link to YouTube. It's very easy to put some videos in there. This is the Jollymon band. This is a nice promotional video I did for them. Then you can have link. If you want to affiliate sites, you can have gallery slideshows like this one. You can put links to different uh, accounts you have on Flickr or on Facebook for the front of Victoria Harbor Migratory Birds Sanctuary. So there's a lot of things you can do with SmugMug. Also, a contact uh, format here, you can send me a message. So I want to show you guys how you can edit your site and customize it. My first tip for you guys is to choose the right template for you. So you'll be asked to choose a template when you start. If you don't have a, uh, an account with SmugMug already, you can look here. I'll show you what type of templates they have, what type they have. If you do have one, just keep in mind that you can have a few here. This is my current template. I can start a new one and I can switch from one to the other. So this is the design they have. It goes with different colors background, different slideshows, galleries. They have a few options. They look pretty slick as is. You don't have to do much to it. If you want to, you can just take whatever galleries and put your own picture in it. Or you can do like I did and then just take one as a something to start working with and just change a whole lot of things. So once you're done with your template, my second tip for you is to keep stuff organized. So you'll see here I have all those uh, links here to educational, gear, journal, contact, galleries about. Well, if you go to my organized folder here on the top, you'll be able to see everything which is on my website here on the left column. If you open my page, well, everything the menu basically have its own folder here. So every page I created have its own folder. So for example, if I go to the journal folder I was showing you guys, I had that gallery of picture uh, for the 2015, and I have the page itself into a folder. And then I have my galleries folder with all the four galleries that I have put there, and the galleries page. So I create a folder, I put the page inside that folder and I put every photos inside that folder as well. So this is how I created my website by having all those folders into a main folder called pages and then I have those two galleries. This is a gallery of photo of PNG files or the background photo and these are photos that or, P, or files that I will display throughout the website but I don't necessarily need people to go look at into a gallery. So that's why I keep these two outside of the main pages folder area. A quick tip for you guys as well, if you want to, is to choose how these folders are displayed. Now these two educational folders were created at a different time, so if I would go sort by date, then you see they are separated. I can sort them manually or I can sort it by name which is very easy to uh, do and then that way things are together. And it's very simple if you want to create a folder inside a folder or a page or whatever you want so you can just make sure this is highlighted gray. 
you go and create, create a folder, a gallery, or a page, and whatever you create will be inside the page folder. Let's say into that journal folder, I want to create another gallery, then I go to page, I press gallery, and the gallery will be in within the specific folder. You can always switch things around by just dragging things to a different folder, but this is not what I want to do here. We'll leave it at that, and then we'll get out of here, and we'll go back to our main page. So, now that you are, uh, you chose a template, you're organized with the page you know you're going to create, or if you don't know you would, exactly what you want to do, you can create one page and build from there. My third tip for you is to uh, understand where you got to go to customize a single page and customize what you'll see on every page on your website. For example, I have this menu, my logo, and my icon in the bottom show on every single page. Doesn't matter if I go to my gear review series page, well, things will stay the same. The menus, the logo, and my links at the bottom stay there. So what you do here, you go to customize, content and design. This is where you go to customize a page. So if you take a look, what you'll see in blue turquoise, it is what I have on my page. So I have some YouTube videos, some links, some text, so basically, if you go there and you slide through this, you're eventually going to hit the right YouTube. And this is basically, as you see, this is what you have in order throughout your website. You can add things. Like if I would like to add a gallery, a photo gallery, I'll go around and I can drag and drop. And then it'll ask me where I want to put this. So I can put, let's say, in the bottom of this video. And then you drag it there. And this is your gallery but I don't necessarily want to do that, so I press a little garbage here to remove the block from there, and it is now gone. So just to go back to the menu, everything I see on, the, on every page is here, you're gonna go and click entire site. So it's always on the top here, this little globe, press on that, and then you'll see this page up here, and everything is red. Whatever you see red is what you see on every page on your website. So you can, you can customize and put whatever you want there. This is what I chose to see on my uh, pages, is those three single things in this specific order, right? So remember, red is on every pages, and whatever you see, like blue or turquoise, is what you see on this specific page. So I am done with this. I'm going to press done and I will discard changes because I don't want to do any changes right now. So, my fourth tip for you guys, make sure you understand how to work tool and the options into your content and design area. So, what you're going to do here, you're going to go down, let's say I get this menu over here. If I Go on top of this, you'll see the dimensions and the option tool. Let's start with the options. We'll go look at various things here. You can change what's inside the text here, the text size, the alignment, and whatnot. Now if I would go around and look at the actual YouTube video, if I press the options, they're going to ask me for the URL of this video, the size of the video. If I want to put a title, I could put a title as well. So everything you go to, will have different options. The text, you can see there's different options there. So make sure to familiarize yourself with the option tool, which is that little wrench. Now the dimensions is very important as well. So you can drag this around, so it will help you a little bit here. So this is where you can move things right or left because you work with blocks. Uh, if you put something, let's say, here, right now it's in the middle, it's fine. But let's say if my video was a little bit to the left and this is in the middle, things are not quite aligned. So if you want to move this right or left or up and down, I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. So you're going to click, let's say, on the left margin. Uh, that number just disappeared. Rewrite 12. And press up or down in your arrows. Then you're going to see my writing start to move. 
So this is how you can actually align your things around. So this is very important. You gotta be make sure that things look good onto your website. So once you're done with that, you're happy, you can save the change for later, you can publish now, or you can just discard the changes. The fifth tips for you guys is customize a website by adding some PNG files. So if you're not overly familiar with PNG files, you can create those different ways. You can download them from the internet. I created this, for example, G-Series in Photoshop. The background is translucent. This is a text, and basically it's saved as a PNG file. So I'm able just to import this specific PNG and put it there, and it blends right in. Same thing with my logo. It's a PNG file. If I go to my home page, uh, that writing that you see there, it is not a writing that you can find in within Smug Mug. This is something I have uh, found a purchase in Photoshop, and basically I was able to write it down, create a PNG file, and insert it into my uh, Smug Mug as uh, insert as a picture. So it is very nice to customize a website this way. Uh, there's different type of writings you can get in there. It looks pretty and it makes a world of a difference at the end of the day. So those are my five tips. Hopefully it helped you down the road to customize. If you have any questions, please leave comments, email me, look at my website, do whatever you gotta do. But just keep in mind Smog Mug, it is very easy. You need no code to work a website and you can customize a lot so I'll come up with new different videos in the near future I will show you guys how you can monetize your site if you have the portfolio um, website how to create a list for uh, sending your pictures I will show you different type of uh, menus how to make things a little prettier with photos and things like that so just stay tuned on my YouTube channel or go take a look on my website under the educational series or into the resources under the gear menu. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.